welcome back to Alf later folks oh boy <laughs> go ahead <laughs> jeff and og out here with you hey you've asked for it many many times and we are bringing you rock salt rock salt in a shotgun shell you have seen this uh for years on videos when uh when old uh, red from town comes out to the farm and steal farmer john's daughter well uh farmer john blasts him with a load of, of rock salt so we're going to put some rock salt in the old weather BPA 459 today. You really want to shoot that through that? Because we can use it. You can use little Tony and stuff. It doesn't bother me, this salt. We've shot a lot of worse <laughs> things out of here. Okay, well, just clean of, it when you get home. Bricks because... of concrete and acid and yeah. all kinds of stuff. So uh, we're going to give you just a little bit of uh, insight here as to how far that would actually be effective. Will it even be effective? Could you injure someone? Could you zap them on the behind like you see in the movies? How far? You know, I always picture, uh, you know, I hear these stories and it sounds like the farmer's like 500 yards away shooting at you, you know? Yeah, as we proved in a little previous video there, that's not likely to happen. But uh, <laughs> uh, I don't have a lot of hopes for this even making it downrange, uh, you know, rock salt. My theory is that the little pieces of salt are going to... It's light. It it's air. low density. Yeah, it could very well come apart in the air. So uh, give us your predictions down here in the comment section. And uh, other than that, let's put some downrange at the job. Those, those are loaded pretty hot with a lot. You couldn't put more salt in there. There's, I don't know. I'll have to weigh it. I'll get you some weights. It's probably less than half an ounce of salt, even so though most salt. of the most of the shell is full of that large uh, water softener salt. So if you're on a low sodium diet. Go back to double lot buckshot. Stay away from the uh, rock salt rounds. <laughs> All right. First target's a ballistic booger, 10 yards. You stay away from my daughter, you rascal. Did you hit it? I see. Appears to be some marks on the face of it. Wow. Well, what do you think? <laughs> I did a little salty. Most of them hit a little low, it appears. There's a couple little tiny, tiny pieces of salt up here. I'm not really sure that would have done anything to you. Yeah, a little one penetrated right here. That's kind cool. of disappointing. I don't know if we'll get farther than 10 yards. <laughs> Let's put up a sheet of blank cardboard and see if we don't get a little bit better spread on it that, okay. we, can, that we can witness. Yeah. <laughs> Ready? Okay. I am underwhelmed. Yeah. Made a big boom though. Yeah. So you start seeing a couple little speckles out here. There's not a lot. It's hitting very, very light. So we're going to half the distance, bring it back a little closer and see if we can tighten up some pattern there. Yeah, it's a lot. The big chunks aren't surviving, apparently. Yeah, it's just kind of splattering it with a, a light dusting, like uh, like sprinkling salt on your fries. Yeah. We moved the target back to maybe seven yards six or seven yards put a water jug up there see if we can hit that give it a try okay i'm ready Whoa. i think the wadding did that yeah because that's a big hole well there it is folks not very impressive. A couple little tiny holes. Okay, now I, I think we're SOL as far as using it as some kind of defense round outside or whatever. I think of, you could season dinner with it. That's about it. Yeah, I should have brought some uh, potato chips or something to salt. Okay, now we're going to shoot at drywall. See if it's safe to shoot in your house, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're safe. Yeah. Okay, I am ready. <coughs> Man.
Well, it, it kind of peppered our wall. Is it is that the right term? Yeah. Peppered the wall with salt. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. think you're getting your condiments mixed up. Yeah. But the wad hit there, of course, and bounced back on the ground. But this is all the salt. And, folks, that's not even penetrating the outside uh, cardboard sheet. That's just salt on the... Uh, Kind of splattered off there. Dusty Salt, which oddly enough was uh, OG's name when I was in the adult film industry. <laughs> well, that would it would sting, I guess, but it might sting and uh, raise your uh, cholesterol. But <laughs> blood pressure. Your blood pressure. <laughs> That's about it. That's all it's gonna do. I can only imagine that the perception of many viewers is that we did something wrong. But we used the coarsest rock salt we could find. We shot it with a pretty hot load, not too hot, not too mild. And we gave these things a very fair chance. Got jets and wind noise. Jets and wind, yeah, all we need is a tractor and a blow dryer. Look at those two in formation right there. Oh yeah, look at that, wow. That guy's making all the noise, they're coming in silent. Yeah. We're going to record the data on this flight of the shell. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh! Well, there you go. Something shattered that glass. Probably the, probably the wad. Caused it to fall right out of there. Yeah, that's some glass-type glass. <laughs> Glassy glass. Anyway. Now it appears that most of the salt is just getting pulverized and broken into very small pieces when we shoot it. And very few of the large chunks of salt survive to do any damage. Okay, what, what do you got there? Folks, this morning I turned on my TV. All channels, all 875 channels were Taylor Swift videos. So I go in the backyard, I look up on the back of my house on the roof. What do I find but a Russian spy satellite bolted to the roof of my house? So this is proof that Vladimir Putin was influencing our elections. This actually says, uh, so far, it's the only proof, I think. Right, right, this is the only proof we've got so far. Right after this, I'm going to mail this to the Senate uh, Investigatory Committee. I think what's weird, Jeff, is that they actually wrote spy satellite on their spy so satellite. So that says? I thought it was some dirty word or something. Well, it was a spy satellite, which I don't think is very good cover for them. You'd think they'd want to make it like look like a direct TV satellite or something, but... <laughs> Those crazy, crazy Russians. Well, we're going to get rid of this because I need to get back to my regular scheduling programming and I'm tired of Taylor Swift videos, so. Okay, rock salt versus spy satellite. <laughs> spy Siba! Russians got to it. There you go. <coughs> did, you get, did you get salt in your face? Yeah. Again, the plastic wad did more damage than everything, but look at that spread at yeah. seven yards or whatever. That's that's crazy. Quite a wide spread. Not very violent, though. This is just little powders, of, powder flakes of salt. Yeah, it wouldn't feel, it would probably sting a little bit, even at that range, but I don't think it would be no. very effective beyond that. Here's the cool thing on the back here. It knocked off the... Uh, Infrared coating. Ooh. The little, the wad hit, hitting on the front. Check yeah, the again, the wad did more than anything. So what, what are your thoughts about rock salt? Is it? I'm not gonna use it. No. If somebody comes after my daughter, or they're getting double lot buck. <laughs> double lot buck fixes everything. That's right. Spiceba. It certainly appears that the urban myth of farmers using rock salt to defend their orchards or whatever, it's just that, an urban myth. Because people believe these urban myths so much, even though they never actually shot rock salt or seen it shot, they're going to disagree with our results. I hope you enjoyed this video. We want to thank our Patreon supporters for making this video possible. There's a good chance you missed our last video because I turned off notifications to all my subscribers on that video. It was just an experiment to see how well the video would actually do without any notifications so be sure to watch that in case you have not seen it it's basically a whether or not a golfer can drive a golf ball further than a three inch 12 gauge magnum slug it's a it's a very interesting test i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching
Have a good day.